Hello class! Today, our topic is about chemical formula of common chemical substances. When we say common chemical substances, these are commonly found in our homes, in the school, or in any other place or places that you usually go. I want you to prepare a paper and pen and take the pretest before we proceed with our discussion. Are you ready? Let's begin. Letter A, sentence completion. Complete each statement with a word or concept in the blank of the item. You may pause this video when answering all the items. Number one. The chemical symbol of oxygen is blank. The chemical symbol of oxygen is blank. Number two, there is R blank hydrogen atom atoms present in this chemical formula. C6H12O6. Number three, blank is shorthand of expressing the types and the number of atoms present in a substance. Number four, C is the chemical symbol for blank. And number five, there is our blank oxygen atom, atoms in H2O. There is, or there are, blank oxygen atom, atoms in H2O. If you're ready, you can proceed with letter B. Identification. Determine the types and number of atoms in the following chemical formulas. Number six, we have PF3. Number seven, C3H8. Number eight, K2CO3. Number nine, CH4. And number 10, CF4. Again, you may pause this video while answering. Okay, let's proceed. Called by many names. Usually, aside from our given or birth names, we are also called by our pet names, monikers, or aliases. Take a look at this name, Katrina Cassidy. It's a long name. If I were Katrina, should I say, I prefer to be called Cat Cat by my friends. And I would also prefer writing it as Casey because it is far way shorter than Katrina Cassidy. Since we read chemicals, we have here sodium chloride and we prefer it, we prefer calling it table salt. And for scientists, they prefer writing it NaCl. NaCl, the chemical formula for sodium chloride. What actually is a chemical formula? Actually, chemical formula comprises two words. The first word is chemical. So chemical refers to a compound or substance, while formula refers to a symbolic expression. Formula is a symbolic expression. If we combine the two, two, two words together or the two concepts together, we form its meaning. Chemical formula is a symbolic expression of a compound or substance. It is also described as shorthand of expressing the types and number of atoms in a substance. Also, it shows the elements as well as the number of these elements in a compound. This is an example of a chemical formula. So this chemical formula has one potassium, two chromium, and seven oxygen atoms. Another example, we have here water. And on the right is the water molecule. So water has two hydrogen atoms represented by the two white spheres on the image. 
It also has one oxygen atom represented by the red sphere. So the ratio of hydrogen to oxygen is 2 is to 1. If you're going to write the chemical formula, it would be H2O. 2 hydrogen for every 1 oxygen. Another example, caffeine. C8H10N4O2. So there are 8 carbons, 10 hydrogens or hydrogen atoms, 4 nitrogen atoms, and 2 oxygen atoms. Well represented by corresponding colors. Now let's have this activity. What's my common name? I'm going to give you three clues and all you have to do is to guess the common name of the substance. First, we have a chemical formula NaCl. I'm sure that you know this very well. Next clue, the chemical name of NaCl is sodium chloride. And third clue, it's salty. You're right. It's table salt. Next. First clue, the empirical or the chemical formula is CH3COOH. It is used in cooking paxil. I know that you already have an idea. And its chemical name is acetic acid. Yes, definitely. It's vinegar. Next, we have here the chemical formula C5H8NO4NA. Second clue, umami. Third clue, its chemical name is monosodium glutamate or MSG. Yes, it is fetsine. Next one. I hope you're enjoying this. We have here a chemical formula, C3H6O. Two nails. Remover. So what do they pertain to? It's acetone. The girls know this very well. Acetone, it removes snail polish. Next, we have NaHCO3. Its chemical name is sodium bicarbonate. And it is used for baking cake. Any idea? Yes, it's baking soda. Next one, we have NaClO. Its chemical name, sodium hypochlorite. Steam. Do you have any idea what it is? It is bleach. However, we Filipinos call it Clorox, but Clorox is a brand name. Next one, we have HCl. You know this by heart. It's hydrochloric acid. Oh, it's used in toilet bowls. Yes, definitely. It's muriatic acid. Hydrochloric acid is commonly known as muriatic acid. Next one we have C12H22O11. It's sweet and it's Chemical name is sucrose. You're right again. It's table sugar. Next we have CH3 quantity 2 CHOH. It's a germ killer. Its chemical name is isopropyl alcohol. Again, you're right. It's a rubbing alcohol. Next one, we have CaCO3. It's calcium carbonate. And the third clue, picture. 
What does teacher has to do with calcium carbonate? It's chalk. The primary component of chalk is calcium carbonate. And well, teachers use chalk, or teachers use chalk in teaching. Let's have the bonus round. Acne, yellow, chemical symbol is S. What is? It's sulfur powder. But I don't think you have it in your homes. But sulfur powder is integrated or mixed in um, soaps as treatment for acne. C2H5OH. Your next clue, wine. And chemical name, ethyl alcohol. It's, it's your answer. It's ethanol. Wine and ethyl alcohol. Well, ethyl alcohol or ethanol is a byproduct of the fermentation of wine. Next, we have CF2Cl2. And it is usually released by refriger uh, refrigerators and air conditioners. Its chemical name, trichlorodifluoromethane. I can give you another clue. It's a greenhouse gas. Yes, you're right. The answer is freon. Now, bring out your answers from the pretest. Check your own paper. Number one, the chemical symbol of oxygen is O. Number two, there are 12 hydrogen atoms present in the chemical formula C6H12O6. Number three, Chemical formula is shorthand of expressing the types and the number of atoms present in a substance. Number four, C is the chemical symbol for a carbon atom or simply carbon. And number five, there is one oxygen atom in the molecule H2O. Next, in BF3, there is one boron for every three fluorine. C3H8, there are three carbon atoms for every eight hydrogen atoms. K2CO3, there are two potassium atoms, one carbon and three oxygen atoms. CH4, one carbon atom for every four hydrogen atoms. And CF4, one carbon for fluorine atoms. I hope you get high scores from the pretest but I prefer you having higher scores in the post-test. So take the quiz that I will post in our Google Classroom on the scheduled date. So that's the end of our class today, and I hope you learned a lot. Have a good day.